In this video, we're going to look at how you can add a document to an assignment so the students have that document to use. So let's start a brand new assignment. So let's go to Create and Assignment. Let's put a title into our assignment. Let's put some instructions. Once your instructions have been done, we now need to add the file. Now to do this, we're going to add a file that we want all the students to use. So we're gonna go over to Google Drive. Now I've created a folder here called Google Classroom Assignments, and in here I'm gonna create a slides presentation. So let's open up the slides presentation. This is going to be called the Solar System. So, this is the presentation I want them to use. I'm not going to do anything more with this, but you could create a template for the students at this point. So let's close this down. Let's go back to my Google Classroom, and we're going to go to my Drive. Under Recent, you will find the presentation that you want to use. So we're going to click on this, and then go. we're going to add it. Now, notice here, this is the presentation that we want the students to use. Now here it says students can view the file. Now if they open this presentation at this point, they can only view it, which is not what we want. The next option is students can edit. We're gonna come on to this in the next video. And the next one after that is students will be get a copy. This is what we want. We want to choose and make a copy for each student. So basically what will happen is when the students open this, they will get their own version of the solar system presentation. Now we can go over here, choose the students that we want, choose a due date. Let's choose the due date of here. Let's put the topic into week one and then we're going to assign. Okay, here's my assignment solar system presentation. Now let's go to a student now. Here is the student view. Now let's refresh this page and you can see here, there is the solar system presentation. If we go to classwork, there is our solar system presentation. Let's click on this. Now we can scroll down and we can see here, here is the presentation. Now notice it's put the student name in front of the title of the presentation. We can also go to instructions here and do the same thing in this corner here. So we're gonna click on this. That's gonna open up the presentation. Now the students would start their presentation, so let's do that. Okay, so I've done the sun and I've done Mercury here. What I'm also going to do, I'm going to go to the tools and I'm going to click explore. This is going to then give me some options on how I want to display this slide. Now I happen to like this one and I'm gonna use this one and then in the sun, I'm going to do the same and I could do the same for this one as well if I want to, but uh, so let's choose this one here. So now what that's allowed me to do was change my slide around a bit so it looks a little bit more professional. Okay, now that's mine done. So now let's go back as a student. Now the student can say, hand in. All right, hand in. Now once it's handed in, if we look at this and refresh this page, now the student can no longer edit this document until the teacher returns it. Let's go back to the teacher and click on solar system presentation. We can see that one has been handed in. Let's click on that one. And here is Bart Simpson's presentation. In another video, we're gonna look at how you as a teacher can now mark that and add comments to that particular presentation.